time back. Secretary Mayorkas, uh, look, have you used uh, your authority uh, to suppress exculpatory evidence presented by CBP agents who've come under public attack and condemnation by DHS and the Biden administration? Have you used your authority to suppress exculpatory evidence presented by CBP agents who've come under public attack and condemnation by you and the Biden administration? Two points, if I may, Congressman. Number one, in response to your second question, I don't even know what you're referring to. And with with respect to your first I'll question, take that as that you're on the record as saying no. U.S. That you customs. have not used your authority to suppress exculpatory evidence. If you're, if you're an honorable man, then obviously you should be able to say no to that. Who would suppress exculpatory evidence? Is your answer no? I don't even know what you're referring to, Congressman. You will. And, and if I may, in Secretary Mayorkas, have you used your authority to retaliate against DHS agents who served on special details during the Trump administration, agents identified by your administration as conservatives or Trump supporters? Once again, Congressman, I don't even know what you're referring to. You're before Congress. I'm going to take that as a no. Through your authority, Secretary Mayorkas, have you encouraged your chain of command to suppress basic law enforcement actions at the border and harass or victimize or intimidate experienced frontline law enforcement agents at the border using internal investigations and threats of disciplinary action or transfer in order to force those agents to comply with DHS policies that actually injure the security of our homeland and are contrary to the sworn oath of those agents. Is that the culture you've created? Congressman, I don't even know what you're referring to. You will. Uh, and I am. Uh, Secretary Mayorkas, final question, good sir. Of honor and it's service been rumored and nobility throughout the Department of Homeland Security. That is you represent that nobility, is what I am Secretary Mayorkas? Congressman, that is what I am dedicated to. It's been rumored, Secretary, that you're going to resign prior to January the 3rd. Is any truth to those rumors? That is a false rumor. All right. We look forward to seeing you in January. Um, Director Ray, does, it, does the FBI have confidential human sources? Uh, did the FBI have confidential human sources embedded within the January 6th protesters? on January 6th of 2021. Well, Congressman, as I'm sure you can appreciate, I have to be very careful about what I can say about when Even we are- Even now, because that's what you I, told us two I years ago. May I finish? Uh, about when we do and do not, and where we have and have not used confidential human sources. Uh, but to the extent that there's a suggestion, for example, that the FBI's confidential human sources or FBI employees in some way instigated or orchestrated January 6th, that's categorically false. Did you have confidential human sources dressed as Trump supporters inside the Capitol on January the 6th prior to the doors being open? Again, I had to be very careful. It should be I a can no. Say. Can you not tell the American people? No, we did not have confidential human sources dressed as Trump supporters positioned inside the Capitol. Gentlemen's on January time 6th. has expired. You should not read anything into my Decision uh, not to share information. Director Ray, gentlemen's time has expired.